Hi, my name is Stephanie Cokedon, and today what I'm going to do for you is my own little consumer review of mukluks. The reason why I'm doing this is I absolutely love mukluks, and I know that they've been made popular by the stars and all that sort of thing, but that's not why I love them. They're just the most beautiful, comfortable boot I think a woman can own. So what I'm going to do is three short little videos. I'm going to do the first one um, focused on Manitoba mukluks, and I think that when a lot of people think of mukluks, that's the brand that comes to mind. They've done um, a really good job of branding themselves and making themselves known. But they also do a lot of really, really great things for the Aboriginal community and um, just, you know, helping give young women traditional and new skills and just they, they really thrive. So kudos to that company. Um, and then I'm going to do a little bit on Pika Mukluks. This is a brand I've never even heard of before, but um, I was sincerely hoping that they were going to be a really strong contender to the Manitoba Mukluk. And then we'll take a look at Laurentian and Softmock together, uh, another Canadian made Mukluk. Um, I don't even know who makes the soft mock mukluks. They're sort of white labeled, so I'm not too sure. But anyways, let's get started. So the first one I'm going to share with you is the Manitoba mukluk, and it's the snowy owl. And I feel like, let me just grab it as we speak. So it's this little guy here. And I feel like this is the brand that you really see in retail stores. And um, it's the most common one. So... You'll notice the bottom is a rubber sole, and um, so that is a little bit more durable than the crepe sole, and I'll show you the crepe sole in one second. Here's another fun thing about this sole. When you put them side by side, there's no right and there's no left. Um, and also, if you look, there's a whole history and symbolism um, on these little Vibram soles made by Manitoba Mukluk. So, you have to size down. So if you're an eight, then you would go to a seven. And inside, you'll notice that there's a leather Manitoba Mukluk uh, little patch here that shows their authenticity. You also get, let me show you, this certificate of authenticity with the Manitoba Mukluks to show that you're getting the authentic product. Okay, so inside is sort of a fleecy, kind of a little faux fur um, interior. And they're very flat, so if you need arch support, um, not saying don't ever buy a mukluk, but you would want to consider something to put into the mukluk just to give you added support. I know Birkenstock even makes a really beautiful product that can go inside boots. Um, okay, so with these, they have the double pom-pom on the side. Some people go crazy by that, but no need to fret. All you do is you take it and you just tie it in a bow. And really, sometimes I just do a double knot. And then it sits up high, you just double knot it. it, sits up high like this, just on the side of the boot, and then it's really cute. We don't need to fret. Okay, so they're squishy, they're suede, they're comfortable, they're lovely. Yes, you do need to protect the suede, so you can get um, a protectorant, like an all protector to spray. Do not hit the fur. Uh, you don't need to spray the fur, it has its own natural oils, I believe. When you're storing them, don't having them rub against anything, because that can... Um, Shorten the life of the fur is what I understand. So that is the snowy owl. And next to this puppy. So this you might hear uh, called the tall Napa mukluk. Napa or just leather. Uh, some people panic about suede. They think that they can't clean it. So this is really a good alternative uh, because you could just wipe down the, the leather. Again, it has the double pom-poms on the side. These ones are also internationally made, so they're not made on home soil, but they do have models that are still made here. And I'm going to show you afterwards what these all look like. I'll do a little parade of mukluks. Okay, so that is the Napa. Um, what I like about it is, you see it, it's stiff. It doesn't have a a scoochy floppiness factor so if you want them to stay up nice and, and tall looking this is a good option because it's not going to flop okay the last one I'm going to show you is this little puppy chow uh, this is from sorry it's from Manitoba Mukluks but it is the crepe sole so you see how it has that bumpy texture and it is a little bit more fragile this was the traditional mukluk which makes it so cool uh, it has more of a, a floppiness to it because it is suede, but super comfortable. This part is quite round. Um, so I think if you have a wider foot, you'd be okay in something like this. Beautiful beading on the front. And also it has that same sort of, you know, faux fur on the inside. 
Now the thing about these is you can't replace the crepe sole if it dies and that was kind of a sad learning. I called Manitoba Mucklucks to say what do you do with this? Uh, it is best on grass and on really natural surfaces but not pavement and it's probably a better indoor shoe but um, if you're going to take good care of it you can wear it in outdoors. But why you can't replace it is because the crepe sole is sewn to the suede so once it wears down you, you, it's, it'd be a hot mess to try to take the two apart. Maybe there are other solutions but my understanding was that sorry you can't do anything about the crepe sole. Um, so these ones are a little bit taller they have the beautiful rabbit pom-poms on the side and the rabbit fur in the shaft as well. So absolutely gorgeous and again when I parade all the mucklucks in the end I will show you what they actually look like. So that is the Manitoba muckluck. Uh, you can find them at different retailers. This one I found at Quark Shoes, Q-U-A-R-K in Manitoba. Never even knew they existed. Awesome deals there. And um, you can go to manitobamucklucks.ca, but they don't really put their stuff on sale. They claim that because they offer so many, they don't really need to. So funny rationale, but unfortunately, you know, they don't. At least my understanding. Um, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this little review of Manitoba Mucklucks and um, in the end I will show you what they actually look like on. So thank you very much. Signing out.